and I think the effect is awesome. This is gonna be also some first impressions here. Whoa! Oh my god. Now that I've gone this far, like, we gotta go all out. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by today. It's finally spring in New England, and the sun is out for the first time in what feels like six months, and I'm in a good mood. So today we're going to do the third and final installment in my best spring makeup trends of 2018 video series. And this, if you can't tell by looking at me, is the da -da -da -da, holographic trend. This is definitely huge for this spring. It's everywhere. We're seeing brands put out a ton of holographic stuff. I picked up a couple new products for this video that I'm going to be demoing and giving you some first impressions that are holographic. Um, I was inspired by just the market, the market and what they're selling, and I was inspired by some recent vloggers and YouTubers that are putting out more holographic looks, and I knew that this was the best final trend for spring 2018. I knew this was the one. So if you want to see how to achieve the wearable holographic trend, just keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to start off with the skin, because I don't anticipate us doing anything too crazy on the eyes, where I might need to, con like, use a makeup wipe or anything under there. So I am going to use the Sephora Bright Future Skin Tint. I did a full review and wear test on this, so I will pop that up if you're interested. Okay, so to prep my face, I just used a moisturizing lotion, and I am going to take a little bit of these Cover FX Glitter Drops. I have yet to really use these, but they're so stunning. And before I even put my foundation on, I'm just going to dot a few of these just on the tops of my cheekbones there. That's the one thing about these glitter drops. It's not like the um, custom enhancer drops also by Cover FX. These are much, much more glittery. So they're a little bit less versatile in my opinion. Like I don't think I'd ever mix this into my foundation unless I was going for almost like a theatrical type of look. So I'm gonna take my skin tint on the back of my hand and just begin to dot that all over the face. So I took the Beauty Blender and just went right over where we put those glitter drops and I think the effect is awesome. Okay, so on to concealer. I'm gonna grab my Liquid Camouflage High Cover Concealer by Catrice. I did do a demo video. I compared this to Shape Tape. So if you're interested in that, I will pop it up. And lately I've just been liking to concentrate my concealer right in the inner corners there and blend it out as opposed to put it all the way underneath. And okay, bleh. okay, to set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna take the Becca Bright Eyes Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. So I did wanna let you guys know, um, I did basically my first client tutorial and uploaded it to YouTube. So if you haven't seen that already, Go ahead and check that out. I will pop it up in case you're interested. Okay, so while everything is settling into place, I'm gonna go ahead and do the brows off camera because I'm not gonna do anything fussy with the brows really and I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz for this part, so I will be right back. Okay, brows are done. Like I said, I kept them pretty natural. I also primed my lids with the same Catrice concealer. I just packed it on. I didn't set it with any powder or anything because that's how I've been really liking to do my eyeshadow lately, just a concealer and nothing else. So we are gonna jump onto the eyes. I don't have a super clear idea of what I'm gonna do, but I do know I wanna do a halo eye. It just kinda like makes sense in my head. Halo, hollow, same sort of vibe. So that's what we're gonna go with. Now I did pick up a couple things. Um, let's see, this is a gloss. So I had no holographic stuff in my collection, like I mentioned at the beginning. So any kind of holographic trendy stuff I purchased at Ulta. So NYX has a lot of holographic stuff right now, so this is gonna be also some first impressions here of some of these products. I have Flower Beauty and NYX that we are gonna be trying out. So let's see. So this is a holographic halo eye tint. Perfect, halo. Contrasting shades, I'm gonna take my Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star, just because I really want to get some use out of it. It's so gorgeous. All right, let's see here. So I think I'm gonna start with Cake Mix. 
And I'm just gonna grab a big fluffy brush and just start buffing that on the inner and outer corners of the eye. So for the inner and outer corner, maybe we'll do the bright pink. All right, so I'm just gonna take cavity and start packing that on the inner and outer corner. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of tongue pop on that same fluffy brush and just smoke out all the edges. I like to use little circular buffing motions. I just feel like it gives me a little bit more control. Okay, now just to add a little bit of fun to this, I'm gonna take another kind of tapered blending brush and the purple shade, Root Canal. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm dabbing most of it off on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna gently buff that on the edges. Okay, so we have the basis for our halo. No, I don't even know if I'm gonna need the concealer. I think I'm just gonna go right in with the NYX eye tint. It almost has like greenish, bluish duochrome to it. It's definitely pretty and definitely pigmented. Go back in with cavity and just shape that inner area a little bit. Cool. So a note about those glitter drops. I don't want to forget to tell you, um, they definitely kind of, the glitter falls out on your face a little bit. So I don't know if the light is picking it up, but you can definitely see glitter, like definitely other places than where I put it down. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to jump into the Flower Beauty palette and I'm going to take the lightest shade and highlight underneath my brow. So that has kind of pink duochrome to it, which is nice because it pulls in the eye shadow a little bit. So just to add a little pop of color, I'm going to take the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner in what is this? Barrow Street. It's a mint green liner and I'm just going to line the waterline with that. And I'm going to go back into Cavity, which is that bright pink shade, and just hit the inner and outer, mimicking what I did on the top lid. All right, so I'm gonna jump back in with that eye tint that we used by NYX and the same little brush just to get off any pink residue. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the center. So I'm actually gonna take that exact same little tiny brush and Coma, which is a very, very dark eggplant shade from the Jeffree palette. And I'm just going to Bury that in the lash line of the upper outer lid. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back into the flower palette and I think I'm gonna take the kind of like silvery shade and a pencil brush. Just go ahead and hit the inner corners of the eye. I would say this palette's kind of like mediocre. It's not the most amazing thing I've ever used, but it does the job, I suppose. I like this shade better than the shade I use under my eyes, or under my eyebrows. I'm just gonna, the one under my brows just isn't really bright enough for an under brow highlight, my opinion. All right, now I think I'm going to just take a touch of that gold color the palette and just kind of set over the NYX shade. Just to tone down the blue green a little bit. I think that is it for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some really natural lashes. I wanna try these, they're by Eyler. 
They're called the Naturals Pack, and they're literally like the most natural lashes I've ever seen. So I'm just really interested to see how they look. So I'm gonna pop those on, and I will be right back so we can finish the face. Okay guys, so it is time to finish, finish off the face. Verdict on these lashes, they're poking me a little bit and I'm so surprised because they literally have the thinnest band on the planet, but for some reason they're like poking into me. Anyways, so to start off, I like itchy. So there's this holographic halo finishing powder. So apparently this is a finishing powder by NYX. And I'm not going to use a pressed powder for this look, so we're just going to dust this all over the face and see what happens. By the way, guys, if you need anything from Sigma, don't forget to use my link. It's like one of those affiliate links and um, super helpful, helpful for me if you need anything from Sigma. It doesn't cost you anything more, but um, it helps me a lot because I make like a tiny little commission off the sales if you use my link. So I'll leave it in the description if you're interested. But anyways, I'm just going to gently tap this. Whoa! Oh my god. Whoops. Shh. That was not intentional at all. Okay. Note to self, use a thicker brush. Use a fluffier brush, I should say. Ooh. Problem is I don't... We're gonna take this little Real Techniques brush. It's just a little fluffier, not so dense. I'm gonna go right over our little glittery action over here. I mean, it's definitely giving me a holographic feel, that's for sure. To me, this is much more like a highlighting powder than a finishing powder. It's, I mean, I don't know. It definitely did the hollow thing though, I have to say. Real Techniques brush. I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass bronzer. And for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This has become one of my faves ever since I bought it for my Beauty Guru Holy Grails video. I've been using it all the time. Alrighty, cool. So I'm gonna go back in with the flower palette and I'm gonna take the, I think I'm gonna take a mix of the bluish and the bronze and just again, go over that highlighted area because we are not messing around today at all. Now that I've gone this far, like we gotta go all out. Awesome, so I think the only thing we have left is the lips and I really don't know what I'm gonna do, I grabbed this um, NYX Chromatic, Duo Chromatic Gloss. Looks very holographic to me. Duo Chrome and holographic, I've been noticing, are kind of like one and the same. Do you guys feel that way? Is holographic just a marketing technique to sell all the Duo Chrome shit that never sold? I don't know. And I'm gonna go in with this Bunny Tardis Collab. I like have literally used this product once. Kind of like a grayish. Cool, and then we are gonna finish off with this little duochrome gloss, which again, this is my very first time using this. Ooh, it's pretty. See, like this is super purple. That lip is not really doing it for me. I feel like a bad 90s vibe with that so hmm all right so we're gonna we're gonna salvage it we're gonna take the tint the eye tint dust it through the center at least that brings a little more life back and then i think i'm gonna take this pink this is the sigma liquid lipstick in new mod That's definitely better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Now, since we went there, we gotta really seal the deal. 
Pixi Skin Treats Glow Mist. This is the most glowingest setting spray I have ever used in my life. I swear it makes your highlights like 10 times more intense. See that? It's, just, it's so good. All right, guys, so this is the finished holographic makeup spring trend number three. Today's subscriber shout out goes to Cynthia Analante. Um, thank you so much for being a new subscriber. Thank you for commenting on my video. I'm so, so happy to have you. Thank you for showing me support. Every new subscriber that I get, it just helps me build this whole brand and process and you guys just have no idea how much you've added to my life. So I love just showing you a little bit of appreciation every video. So thank you. And if you want a shout out, don't forget to let me know that you hit the notification bell in the comments um, or just subscribed. That would be awesome too. Just let me know. Um, give me a cute emoji or something like that and I will give you a shout out. Okay guys, so that completes the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this little spring trend series. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more seasonal trend series going forward. Definitely leave in the comment section below what kind of trends you're seeing for summer. That's going to be the next season we have coming up. So definitely comment below. I love to know what you guys are seeing. Of course, follow my community tab. You'll get lots of fun updates on there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.